In the previous session, we looked at building a responsive layout using the concept of responsive layout grid, under which we imagined our app screen as a responsive layout grid. We defined three layouts, a four column layout, a eight column layout and a 12 column layout uh, to adopt our layout grid for various screen sizes. And for simplicity, we let's call them as small layout, medium layout and a large layout. Now let's look into responsive patterns. These patterns are quite useful to arrange UI components in a small layout or a medium layout and a large layout. Using these patterns, UI components can adopt their dimensions based on screen size and device type. Now let's take a look at each of these patterns. The reveal pattern can be applied when our app screen size changes from small layout to a medium or large layout. When, when our app screen uh, is showing a small layout, uh, uh, we are probably hiding some of the UI components uh, to utilize the screen space. For example, here we have the side navigation menu uh, that is hidden and on the small layout and when the screen size increases to a medium or large layout we can uh, reveal this side navigation menu and another example is that uh, you have a toolbar in your app and if on a smaller screen you are probably just showing a very limited number of options but when the screen size changes from small to medium and large medium or large screen layout then you can reveal more complex options. The next pattern is a transform. Uh, this pattern is quite useful when you want to transform one UI component into another component. Uh, for example, here we have a side navigation menu and uh, when we have the larger screen available, this side navigation menu has been transformed into a tab bar, okay? And another good example is uh, uh, when you have a simple list containing a single row items uh, on a smaller screen and when your app screen changes to a larger screen, you can transform this simple list into an image list. Next is divide pattern using which when we have a multi row items on a small screen. Uh, you can display it as a single row when you have large space available. So when your app screen changes from a small layout to a medium or, or large layout, you can divide the single row, you can divide the multi rows into a single row. So another example of applying divide pattern is, for example, you have a, a tab bar on a small screen and when when you when your app screen changes to a large layout you have more space available so you can show each of the tab items as an individual item as shown here so here the tab 1 is transformed into this box here and tab 2 is uh, is uh, showed in this uh, next to it because now we have more space available on the layout reflow is a useful pattern when you have a single column of items on a smaller screen and to transform them into a combination structure on a larger screen. For example, here we have three items A, B, C in a single column uh, on, a, on a smaller screen layout. When, when it is transformed into a large layout, we have arranged the combination in such a way that A is arranged on the left side and B and C are arranged in a single column on the right side. Another good example of a reflow pattern is a time picker widget. So here the time picker widget is shown in, uh, in a portrait and here it is in horizontal in a landscape mode in the horizontal direction. Uh, so the time widget is, uh, is adopted to, uh, to arrange the uh, the clock on the right side and the time values on the left side when you have a larger space available. Expand is another simple pattern where we your UI component is expanded on a large screen to fill 
a larger space. For example, here we have a card item uh, on a small screen and when a la bigger larger space becomes available on a large layout, this card has been expanded. Another example for expand to apply expand pattern is a dialogue. Uh, so the, here the dialogue has been expanded uh, from a smaller size to a larger size proportionally. The next pattern is position. So applying by applying this pattern, you are changing the position of UI elements. So here is an example of a floating action button. This floating action button on a smaller screen, smaller layout is positioned at the bottom right corner and on a large screen it is moved onto an intersection of an app bar and the body of the screen. So far we have discussed about the responsive layout grid guidelines and the responsive patterns to apply on it. So now coupled with this knowledge uh, you can design a responsive layout for your app screen. Once you design your app screen and develop it you can test the, your app layout, app screen layout uh, using the tool material.ioresources.resizer. Uh, go to this website and enter your app URL here and test in various modes here. So you can test on a uh, desktop mode or you can also test on a mobile or tablet mode. So here there are also the breakpoint ranges here. So you can test at various uh, sizes and if this is a mobile and a tablet mode here. So this is a quite a useful tool to test the responsiveness of the uh, layouts that you have designed and develop, developed for your app screen. So here is an overall summary of the responsive design theory we have discussed so far. So this is based on Google's uh, uh, material design guidelines based on the concept of responsive layout grid. So we imagine our app screen as a, a responsive layout grid and we define three layouts. One is a four column layout, another is a eight column layout, another is a, and the third one is a 12 column layout. We simply call them as a small, medium and large layouts. And, you, and uh, the responsive layout grid provides guidelines on the margins and the gutters to apply for each kind of layout and also the responsive patterns uh, that we need to apply when the layout size changes. So using these guidelines and the patterns, you can design responsive layouts for any of your app screens. To see a working code implementation of this responsive design theory, check out my video on implementing responsive design in Flutter.